Hello everyone, myself Ganesh from KKWAG Institute of Engineering Education and Research Nashik. Welcome to the next video on the transformer. Today I am going to discuss the K-rated transformer. In the today's session, I am going to discuss the impact of nonlinear load on transformer rating, T-rating of transformer, D-rating of transformer case study. Then, what are the issues of oversized transformer rating? Then, K rated transformer <coughs> its definition, design consideration, types and applications, case studies, and advantages and disadvantages. Nowadays, uh, we know that sorry first we will discuss the learning outcome of the today's session at the end of this session the learner will be able to elaborate the impact of nonlinear load on the transformer calculate de rating of the transformer identify the issues of oversized transformer define, define the k rated transformer as, as per ieee standard explain the design aspects of k rated transformer list the types and application of k rated transformer and calculate the K factor and select the K rated transform. In a today's era, uh, we know that uh, the electronic load and the computer related load is goes on increasing. So, due to the increase in the nonlinear load, the harmonic component of the current is also increases. So, what is the harmonic component of the current? That is the fundamental current in India, it is of 50 Hertz, but due to the use of electronic and computer and switching equipment, the harmonics, the third harmonics, fifth harmonics, that is the frequency content of 150 Hertz, frequency content of 500 Hertz signals are generated, the frequency content of 150 Hertz, frequency content of 250 Hertz, that is the third harmonics and fifth harmonics are generated. Due to this harmonics component, high frequency uh, harmonic component of the current is the high frequency integer multiple of the current. So for um, three phase, uh, three third harmonics, so the frequency will be three into fifty, so it comes to one fifty hertz. So likewise, uh, for uh, in, it is the integer multiple of harmonic frequency. The harmonic voltage and current do not contribute to any work done, but it increases the RMS value of the current. And due to the presence of this uh, uh, due to the presence of this harmonic current, the losses are going to be increased because RMS value of the current is going to be increased. The interaction of the harmonic current with the resistive component increases the heat losses. Eddy current losses is proportional to the square of frequency. Hence, the uh, harmonic current as we know these eddy current losses so if, if i mark this eddy current losses with the pe this pe is proportional to the frequency square and in a harmonic your frequency is going to in uh, we third harmonic have a frequency of 150 hertz fifth harmonic have a frequency of 250 hertz seventh harmonics we have a, a, a frequency of 350 hertz so as the frequencies goes on increasing this eddy current component loss is also goes on increasing hence harmonic current causes increases in the eddy, eddy current loss as well as stray losses it increases the overall losses hence the efficiency of the transformer will be less here you can see this is the harmonic this is the nature of the harmonic current if we extract the component of it this this is the 50 hertz component so if we add the third harmonics that is of 150 hertz fifth harmonics of 250 hertz seventh harmonics of 750 hertz uh, 350 hertz and ninth harmonics of 450 hertz if we add this together then this will the waveform is distorted and if we calculate the rms value of this true rms value of this you will get this rms value large larger than the fundamental current. This is called as a fundamental. The harmonic one current is nothing but a fundamental. This is third harmonics, fifth harmonics, seventh harmonics and eighth harmonics. So this is going to impact the RMS value, hence the losses increases, hence efficiency of the system, uh, efficiency of the transformer goes on decreasing. So let's study what is the D rating of a transformer. Let S is the KVA rating of the transformer. So let us consider that one source, 
uh, is connected one source is connected to a transformer having the rating skv and load is linear in nature if the load is linear in nature you can utilize the full rating of the transformer suppose the transformer is designed for 100 kva then you can utilize this transformer fully up to the 100 kva without overheating of the transformer under linear load condition hence under linear load condition it is fully utilized under the non-linear load, suppose instead of linear load or non-linear, such as computer load is connected or power electronic drives, adjustable speed drives are connected. So as the non-linear is connected, it carries the harmonic component of the current, third harmonic, fifth harmonic, seventh harmonics, likewise up to the H harmonics. So maximum harmonic we can consider up to the 50th harmonics. Uh, that is a harmonic component in the load current. But due to the presence of this harmonic current, the excessive heat is generated. As the excessive heat is generated, we cannot utilize this transformer with this full rating. Hence, the transformer will have will, will we have to must run on D rating. So, eddy current losses in the non-linear load. So, eddy current losses, suppose normal eddy current losses are PE, normal, load, uh, normal condition load eddy current losses are PE, then eddy current losses under the non-linear load that is PEN it is the k times of p so it, it is going to increase so so how to calculate this k factor according to the ieee standard c57.110 the k factor can be calculated as ih it is the sum of it is the sum of ih square into h square where the harmonics is varied from 1 to n divided by uh, h starting from 1 to n summation of ih square so by this formula we can calculate the k factor where h stands for harmonic order and ih stands for harmonic current at the h harmonic the d rating of transformer is given by so how to calculate the d rating factor the d rating factor is equal to it is calculated from the eddy current loss because it's going to impact eddy current loss so d rating factor is 1 plus p e upon 1 plus k into p so under root 1 plus p divided by 1 plus k p e hence useful rating of the transformer is restricted uh, so hence the useful rating of the transformer is s useful is equal to d rating factor into s s is full is d rating factor into s s is the rating of this transformer so let us and uh, let us understand uh, let us uh, study this by the one case study we will we'll take a one case study to understand it in better manner uh, under normal load condition let the transformer rating is a 300 kva okay which can be utilized fully under the linear load condition, let eddy current losses uh, are 1000 watt. Let eddy current losses are 1000 watt. Let non-linear load is connected at the uh, receiving end. So as the non-linear load is connected at the receiving end, I am taking the fundamental component of the current is 100%, third harmonic is 20%, fifth harmonic is the 10%. Uh, seventh harmonic is uh, five percent. You can you can get it from any harmonic analyzer. So if you connect the harmonic analyzer across the nonlinear load, uh, you will get the chart of this uh, fundamental and harmonic component of the current. So how to calculate the K factor? As I defined in the previous slide, uh, as per the previous slide, this harmonic this K factor can be defined using this formula. So I H square. So H is varying from one. So I one square into 1 square plus i3 square into 3 square plus i5 square into 5 square plus i7 square into 7 square. So as these values are given in the percentage, I am putting the values in per unit. So 100 means 1 per unit, 20% uh, means 0.2 per unit, 10% means 0.1 per unit and 5% uh, means 0 0.05 divided by h values. So I get the k factor is equal to 1.5463. Uh, as the k factor from this i can calculate the d rating factor uh, here i have assumed that this eddy current losses under the normal condition is 1000 watt so from this d rating factor if you substitute in this formula uh, substituting the value of k and substituting the value of pe will get the d rating factor as the 80.43 so what this d rating factor suggests d rating factor suggests that i can utilize only 80.43 percent of the total capacity 
of the computer uh, total capacity of the transformer without overheating hence the useful rating of the transformer is restricted to s useful is equal to 0.863 times of 300 so it, it gives you 241.3 kva only 80.43 percent capacity of the transformer can be utilized without We have seen the types of this transformer with K1, K4, K7, K13, K20, K30, K40. So these are the different types. So let's take the K factor case study. Under the normal linear load condition, let the transformer rating is a 300 kVA, which is utilized fully. So, uh, and eddy current losses are the 1000 watts. Same example I am repeating. And uh, let now the load is non-linear with the current I1 is 100%, uh, I3 is, uh, the third harmonic is 20%, fifth harmonic is 10%, and seventh harmonic is the 5%. If we calculate the K factor, we have already calculated this K factor in a previous uh, slide. So, it comes to 1.5463. So, 1.5463 is greater than 1 but less than 4 so there is a k1 and k4 so i will choose the transformer k4 so conventional uh, if you use the conventional transformer in a previous example we have seen that 80.43 percent capacity can be used only but if we use the k4 type then fully 300 kva capacity can be utilized the transformer uh, can be utilized up to 300 kv without excessive overheating that is the main advantage if we if you if we start in a normal transformer if we give the loading beyond 80 percent then overheating may cause and the transformer life is get sacrificed so that is so using the k rated we can utilize it fully so k factor what are the k factor k factor transformer or k trans uh, k rated transformer or k factor transformer prevent the uh, overheating of the transformer by increasing the stray losses with the k factor prevent the neutral uh, overheating uh, neutral overheating by oversizing it at 200 percent more economical than using the d rated and it is a more what are the disadvantages of this the transformer uh, rated with the factor 40 or 50 is extremely rare and is very expensive because good quality of material and uh, using the, the copper uh, is going to increase the cost drastically so that uh, uh, k factor with the 40 and 50 are extremely rare making the correct selection of k factor is extremely important because it affects the cost and safety a key weakness of credit transform is that while reducing the losses of the transformer itself it reduces the losses but it does not reduce the harmonics okay it reduces the transformer will uh, the credit transform will reduce the losses in the transformer but it does not affect the harmonic current harmonic current is going to remain as it is in the transformer so with this we are at the end of credit transformer thank you very much Please subscribe my channel and leave your comment in the comment box. Thank you.